I started doing stand-up actively about 14 years ago in New York City. You know, I had a bunch of odd jobs. I was a high school counselor. I was a grants administrator for a law firm. And then I landed the Just for Laughs Comedy Festival in 2015. Thank you, Montreal. How you doing? Uh, my name is Vladimir. I know I look more like a Jose. I got a Russian name, Russian man. I don't understand how my dad could give me a name that he can't pronounce. I'll be in the house, my dad will see me. This is how he says my name. I was nervous, man, because it's one thing to get it, but it's another thing to do well. Your fear is that you peak, you know, that, that they see you and then they forget about you. You know, when the, when the committee picks you, they're basically telling everyone in the industry that we believe this is the next round of talent that is going to take comedy. And then they, they, they'll handpick somebody they really, really, you know, believe in. And I happen to be the one that year. My father's a construction worker. He's a handyman. This is what my dad does. My father gives you a series of numbers followed by random noises. And this is my dad. Okay, mira, come over here. I come over here, one, two, three. I put it inside over here, Choop, come over here, chow. Four, five, seven, eight, you put it inside, pow, come over here. One plus one is three, you put it inside, chow, come over here. And then, and then you have a house. You know, Howie Mandel gives me a hug, which from my understanding is a big deal because he's a bit of a, you know, Howie's been keeping six feet apart way before the, the quarantine. And I was caught off guard, I was eating a carrot. I cannot believe that's your first time on television. You deserve to be on television a lot more than this. I think you just launched your career. So that was the confirmation for me. I, I said, hey, if I can get Howie Mandel to give me a hug, <laughs> I'm doing something. <laughs> from that festival, I had, uh, I had written and sold my own comedy pilot to NBC. And then following that, I booked some some parts on different shows, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Marvel's Runaways, Superstore. I'm bouncing around Los Angeles for a couple years and this role for Tommy comes up. Tommy is a, is a one hour drama on CBS. It has elements of a procedural cop drama. To be able to work with Edie Falco, just being in her presence, you just kind of soak up uh, that energy. These are invaluable skills. She's one of those people where like, just by her being, you kind of go, oh, oh wow, you can say the line that way? Okay guys, we're not gonna do that all the time or you're all gonna need knee replacements. Look. You look like the chief of police. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that uh, people really enjoy it. You know, the next thing for me is um, at some point to put out a, a special or like a one-man show. <laughs>